Double Eagle was an interesting advent in that it originally started as a way to make a little bit of red wine for David and I to drink as we pursued the Sauvignon Blanc project. We started the Sauvignon Blanc project in 2004 with two barrels in the barn. The fruit just was fantastic that year and we just fell in love with it and the process. So that led us to uh, get Vance involved and really make the real wine. One of the things that I found when I got there was that site, it produces very, very small berries. And those small berries give us great intensity of flavor. So in 2006, which was the first vintage of Double Eagle, I blended a little bit of Cabernet in for that kind of warmer site. And then with that thought of wanting a, you know, a little more warmth in it, we went out and worked with some other vineyards on either side of St. Helena. One Cabernet Sauvignon to the west of St. Helena, Cabernet Franc to the east of St. Helena. And that brought that warmer site in with our really intense Merlot. I make all those pieces separately keep them separate for 20 odd months, and then David and I sit down and go through the really tough and arduous task. This is task the favorite part of my day. Of blending those, and it's, it's a slow, hard, difficult process. We go through To try it. all those wines? To try all those wines and try hundreds of combinations of them. So the blend really is a very simple thing. We have no target. We're not trying to create a style or a certain thing, we really just blend those pieces together until we can both look each other in the eye and agree on it well, and say, I like it. We thought we didn't want to call the wine Grieve because it wasn't all a state. I'm very into golf and the idea to call the red wine Double Eagle came to me in the middle of the night. What's the best shot in golf? How often does it ever happen? Not very often. It's sought after, and that's why we call it Double Eagle. So uh, David developed the name, and then I said, well, I put a paper label on everything I've ever made. Why don't we do something different? And so David said somewhere he had seen a leather label and liked it, and there we were. The first vintage of Double Eagle was 98 cases. So the production has risen slightly, but we're still very, very small. The uh, 2010 was 420 cases, the 2011 right at 600 cases. So we're still a very small winery at this point. We have a site that really, truly can produce world-class great wines. It's not about how much you do, it's about how good it is. And so what we want to do is make a wine that we really love. Something we want to be proud of, so it's right. important to us. 